three, two, one. Hi, everybody. It's Kate Wilson here, and I have a special guest, Paige Nelson. She is in um, uh, Kansas City, Missouri, and is here to talk with us today about how she chose to celebrate and honor her family and things that they value um, with Original Art Commission. So, Paige, can you introduce yourself a little bit? Sure. Yes. Hello. My name is Paige Nelson. Um, and yes, I'm from Kansas City. And you can sort of see behind <laughs> me my commissioned artwork that we love. And that is in our very family centered space. This is sort of a little sitting area right off of my kitchen. Um, we have I have my husband and three kids, um, two identical twin daughters, and then my son, who's a little younger. And we are at a period in our lives where everybody's sort of transitioning to more adult things. My girls will be going to college next year. Mm. And my son is now in high school. And so it was time to um, find a painting that represented more of our time that we have had together, not only so that I could look at it and, and remember that time, but also that it could sort of transcend and grow through these transitions with us. That's beautiful. That's really beautiful. Um, Paige, how does art factor into your life? Is it something that is holds like a large meaning in your world? Can you talk about that? It's, yeah, that's a great question. So I am a theater lover at heart. I always have been. And so art and creativity uh, have always been very valuable to me for, for many, many reasons. But in terms of visual art, um, images are powerful. And images are something that when we see something and download that into our system, it can provoke a feeling, it can provoke a memory, it can send you into a different time space. And it can really help and or not help, <laughs> depending on what the image is. And so for me, um, visual art, performing art, they, both of them sort of simultaneously can support you in your intentions. And so one of my biggest intentions is um, for people to know that they're loved and for people to be at peace, especially in, in my home. Mm -hmm. So when I'm looking at art for my home, um, if I took you on a little tour, you would see that I don't have family pictures. We have art in our house. Um, and the reason that why I've made that choice is because a picture kind of keeps you at that age, mm -hmm. whereas a piece of art or an image can provide many, many memories. Someone, you know, each person can look at it and have something different stimulated, or even if you're in a different mood, it can give you some, it can push you in, in one direction or another. It can uplift you. It can offer you peace. Um, and so pictures and images for me are really powerful that way, That's especially beautiful. for kids. Yeah, <laughs> that's beautiful. And, and that's such an interesting concept to have, have art and allow other people in your family, especially, and people to come into your home, connect with not just here's Johnny captured at baseball at right. third grade or something, but as, you know, here's this expansive yeah, it's a tone. It sets a yeah. it sets an energy um, that is a lot more expansive for people to come in and feel welcome. Because if you just come into my family, then there's a limitation there. You hit some sort of wall if you don't know us very well, or you're going to have everybody's going to have their data banks connected to any image that they see, and so. Mm -hmm. For me, art is is really important to provide images that are going to hit data banks that are going to be healthy, that are going to support your mental health, especially if I have ownership over the space that you've just come into. So that's sort of why I choose yeah. to offer art as opposed to a picture of me, <laughs> you know, or a picture of my kid. Yeah. Paige, that's beautiful and really meaningful and really just supportive, but that's, thank you. Yeah. I think it's a really great opportunity for us as humans also to mm -hmm. be able to give other humans images because you take those images with you. 
Yeah. You know, especially if we have a, you know, say we have a family game night in this space hmm. and you're going to remember the feeling that you had in that space. And so when that, when you think about that memory, those images will then remind you of that. So even though we might not be having that exact memory in, in the space, the, the still the images that were here is going to invoke that. Wow. That is really powerful and such a beautiful, positive way, Paige. Thank you for sharing. Absolutely. Yeah. Wow. This particular image, if I may just share a little bit about what it is. Well, well yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> this particular image, which, you know, you, thank you for doing such a beautiful job in terms of bringing out the abstract, because I didn't want it to look exactly hmm. like where we were, but this was a mountain that we, um, travel that we climbed really in Colorado on a family trip way back. Um, it was probably eight or about eight years ago or so. Mm. Um, and so it was a picture that we took from horseback, believe it or not. (laughs) And so it's got a lot of memories in terms of, Oh yes, I remember that setting, Mm. but the abstract part of it, which is why I think art is so valuable because you can, it's not a picture it's, you know, Mm. it's a, it's more than a picture. It offers you not only that memory of, okay, that place, Mm -hmm. but it also supports us growing. So it's not just keeping us in Colorado at that one family vacation, Mm -hmm. but it's more expansive in that. Oh, I remember who I was. I remember how I've changed. I remember the beauty of that, that moment. And I remember my gratitude for that moment. And Mm -hmm. so it just offers a lot more than just one day, one memory from one day. I think that's beautiful. And even your hands were like giving this sense of expansion just now. I don't know if you know it. If you, <laughs> if that was beautiful because it was like, you're just this drawing out. Yeah. Wow. That's, oh, this is, it's so good to hear these, these words and the thoughts around it, because I feel like when, when working on solving the problem of how to, how me as the artist is going to take the pictures that you sent me and figure this out, you have all of this that you want to get into it. And so this conversation and way of saying, well, what's really the message and what's important. And, and, and for me, art, whether it's visual or theatrical or musical, it's almost like it's wired to a place that not necessarily words yeah, it's properly, like precisely, maybe is the right way to say it. And so to feel like being able to condense all of these, these expansive feelings into a locked in size and particular colors <laughs> is a really, it's a really uh, working with you on it was a really interesting process because sending, you know, working on, okay, how about this is the size, like all of the brass tacks, here's the size. These are colors that you like. And I worked with playing back and forth. And then when, when there was an iteration that you saw and I was like, well, this one kind of looks like, you know, a birthday cupcake or something. You're like, that's it. That's what I want. You know? And it just felt like through the process, it was just getting more, the, the colors and the, the um yeah the colors really i think on it helped helped solidify like yeah we're locking we're locking this this emotion into it when well, i was really excited about our partnership in in the communication of how this sort of came to fruition because yeah. for me energy is very loud also and so i was really hopeful and wanting you to enjoy your time painting it because Mm. I knew that that meant it was going to be translated into the painting because that's an energetic exchange. And so for me, it's, it's all about how the artist not only goes about it, but what energy you're using to then put color to canvas Mm. because it transcends. And so not only could we see the cupcake, but you can feel it. You can feel the joy. Like, oh, this is what came out of this. Wow, that's so cool. Like, and so I love the unknown of it. And so for the commission yeah. part of um, part of it for me was really exciting. And I got to be honest, this was one, this was my first commission, hmm. actually. So I'm grateful for uh, you making it not only easy, but super fun. <laughs> good, good. Yeah really a great experience. So thank you. 
I'm so glad. I'm so glad. Well, it was really fun working with you to, you know, with a commission, you have, you have this idea of what you want. You have a size set, you know, you have, you know, this is a, a realistic piece that's supposed to represent, you know, from these photographs, let's see what we can find. So it wasn't just this, an abstract where I'm throwing the paint right, as right. joyously as I threw it on your canvas, but like, right. We're, we're trying to lock it down a little bit. We have dimensions, but within those dimensions, there was a lot more expansion. That was, yeah. and that was neat yeah. to be able to have your willingness to do that. Cause I think it came out like, it like was, that. <laughs> it was so much fun to work with. It totally was. And to make you this little, everyone, just so you know, in this commission, there's a little, oh, you want to tell? You tell. (laughs) There is a little, well, there's two kind of secrets in this one, because Mm -hmm. one of the things that was important for me, whether you can see it or not, because you'll feel it, um, is a pathway. So Mm -hmm. there is a bit of a sort of a hiking path that you can sort of see um, Mm -hmm. road less traveled, if you will, because I want my kids to really know that the world is full of those types of pathways that are going to be hidden that you don't know are there, but are really going to support you in whatever path you choose. And then the other thing that is hidden um, is a lot of love, because if you really look closely, you can see tiny little hearts in and out of the mountains and especially in the trees sort of at the bottom. Mm. Um, and so that those two things, you know, trust your path, know that it's there, even if you can't feel it or see it right away, it's there and that you will always be loved. It's beautiful. So that was really important to me to, if I could put that into artwork, which um, I just simply asked and you did a beautiful job. So thank you. You're so welcome. It was such, ah, it is such an honor to be able to work and create something for you that is not just paint on cloth on wood. It, it is a, 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 you know, a representation, a symbol, but also um, this, it, it just feels like it's a, you know, the message that you are putting on it for your family is just, it's just really powerful. Thank you. And I think it's definitely been felt. I mean, this is the um, first time we moved our stockings over to this because we actually have two places that we could put them and I'm never putting them anywhere else. (laughs) I I love this way that it looks. It it looks really beautiful. Joy. Your time of year. Yes. Yeah. Um, Yeah. And we named her Joy. And I just think, yeah, every time I look, but also this particular area in the house is just very joy filled. And that was what I I came in wanting the most. Hmm. And so that is for sure uh, what has been provided specifically from the artwork that's there, but also how we get to be in, in her presence. Hmm. So wonderful. Thank you. I'm sorry I interrupted you. No, you're fine. I just feel like art, art has the capability of giving you permission, I feel like. Hmm. And um, this particular painting, I think what she's saying, in, at least in my family, is it's you just have full permission to love your life, love colors hmm. of whatever is, is coming in front of you. Such a great message, such a great, a great lesson to have your children as they're heading off to college and beyond to say, this is, this is what my home has given me. Yeah. Right? And these are the it. roots, right? I've got love and I've got paths that are there and I can tap in because I've got that, but now look at all I can do because I have this foundation built on, I have chills, like built on love. I mean, well, thank you. Thank you for putting it so perfectly. That's exactly right. And then when they do see those colors or they have, you know, any type of image that reminds them of something, or even to see actual mountains, um, they have that memory. They have that sort of in their data banks. So special. So special. Not to mention, by the way, the fact that your family got on horses. I mean, (laughs) like, right. There's, there's also some like adventurousness that you're like, check us out. I mean, many of us for the first time (laughs) during that particular vacation that well, but that's another thing that then you're, you're putting in that painting just for your family in a way, because this is from an actual photograph of you guys on this family adventure. 
Yes. So, and that was what we saw. Like we got to the top of the mountain and that was the sort of part of the mountain we climbed on the horses. And then that was the image that we saw. So it's, yeah, it's like a, it's, yeah, you're right. Like you can really remember, not only did I do that, I was capable of doing that, but hmm. what a gift we were given when we got to the top. Hmm. So keep going. Yeah. Keep on going. Oh, that's so beautiful, Paige. So beautiful. Thank so you. would you recommend that people who have never done a commission give it a try with me? Oh my gosh, absolutely. And I, I can say that when I was first thinking about it, I was wondering, okay, am I going to be able to communicate what I want? Mm-hmm. Um, you know, and I I was nervous that I was going to put you know, you out or, or spend too much time or, you know, that kind of thing. And Mm -hmm. so, and, and I had none of those experiences. And so I am very grateful for just the willingness to communicate. So I would absolutely recommend, especially for those that are art enthusiasts Mm -hmm. and that do have a precious thought or image that they would like to put down on canvas Mm -hmm. because you held your hand holding was excellent. (laughs) So I appreciate that part of it. (laughs) Um, But in terms of from someone who, who doesn't like, I I don't know how it goes from conversation and thoughts Hmm. to, to this. (laughs) Um, I don't either. I don't either. (laughs) But I will say that if, if you're curious, Hmm. go for it because the process itself is so it's such a gift because you learn about what you actually are looking for in a painting. You learn about the colors you like, you know, you, you have a friend sort of along the journey Mm. that's willing to, and and really wants to have your intention and your wishes come true. And so the fact that, you you know, you always checked in and you sent me, you know, a little bit of a mock-up before and was like, let's go ahead. Are we step one step at a time? Yeah. It was really, it was really a positive experience. Oh, I'm so glad. I'm so glad. And you have the opportunity and the gift to look at it and say, it didn't exist. And, and you, the story is part of that painting, the process of making it. Is and it's, a, it. it's the one and only. Yeah, it, it's, it's true. <laughs> it's, That's true. it's unique, you know, it, <laughs> you won't find one anywhere else. <laughs> that is very true. That is it's very true. Totally special. And that's another yeah. part of the energetic um, message, I believe, like hmm. that you're worth it, that you can't, you are one in a million, that you can take your time to really talk about what it is that you're looking for and have a very strong intention about what you want Mm -hmm. as a message and how you want to represent your space, especially you being the steward. Like I'm the steward of this space. I'm the gardener. So you get to decide what flowers you're growing. (laughs) I love that. Oh, that's so wonderful. So fantastic. Good. Um, I'm wondering if you have a cause or a charity, something that's important to you that you would like to give a shout out to while we're, you know, recording and letting people have access? Um, Well, I wouldn't say that I necessarily have a specific organization, Mm -hmm. um, but I will say that what's happening right now in our world in terms of where our refugees are and um, just the divisiveness that I would say, please take care of each other. Hmm. just think before maybe you get reactive, (laughs) take a a 10 second to just breathe um, and remember that we're all in this together and look after our kids because they will inherit this world. So that's what I would say. Thank you. That's really beautiful. You are, you are a powerful energy source page. Truly. Yeah. I appreciate that. Yeah, just really beautiful. beautiful. Oh, fantastic. Well, this has been a pleasure speaking with you and getting an opportunity. And I'm so happy. Happy holiday. Thank you. Thank you. And everybody, thank you to you for tuning in. And I appreciate being here. Thank you. Bye.